So hey, I've prepared an animal test for you. I'll be showing you pictures, and your task is to say which animal is it. Sound easy? <laughs> Let's see. Don't forget to keep your score and, at the end of the video, write your results in the comments below. We'll start with something easy. A bit later, it'll get harder. The first one. What is it? What do you think? Of course, it's a kangaroo! In the wilderness, kangaroos only live in Australia and Papua New Guinea. Next, this pink one. What is it? This one is a flamingo. Do you know they make their nests from mud? What do you think this cutie is? It's a donkey. This animal is very smart and has a great memory. It can recognize territories and other donkeys from up to 25 years back. Wow, I can't even remember a week ago. Now, I know you know this one. Of course, it's a llama. Llamas are smart too. They know their limits well enough, and they will just lie down and refuse to go farther if you overload them. Maybe they'll spit, but they'll never bite you. Hey, I've been spit on by a llama. I don't recommend it. What about this animal? Do you recognize it? Yes, it's a koala. Do you know they have unique fingerprints and also unique nose prints? Another cute little animal. What is it? It's a chipmunk. A single chipmunk can gather up to 165 acorns a day. Talk about productivity! What about this bird? Do you recognize it? It's a swan, of course. I mean swan. Swans live up to 20 years, and they mate for life. You must know this one well. What is it? That's a raccoon. They live almost everywhere, but they prefer to have a body of water nearby. This huge feline. What is it? That's a leopard. They're very individualistic and like spending their time alone. They even scratch trees to make other leopards stay away. What about this big guy? Do you know what it is? That's a moose. Do you know they only live in places where there's snow in the winter? What is this animal? That's a camel. One hump or two. They can spend weeks without a single drop of water. A human can only last three days. What about this little... wait, what is it? A chameleon. And no, they don't change their color to match their surroundings. There are more factors, like the temperature of their surroundings and even their mood. Hmm, wonder if chameleons get the blues. What do you think this creature is? It's a skunk. They are immune to snake venom and can even eat some of these dangerous reptiles. Uh, we won't talk about the smell. Oops, I just did. Never mind. Tell me what animal this one is. It's a walrus. They are very social creatures and live in herds, separated by gender. What about this cute one? Do you know what it is? A beluga. These guys eat a lot, and by a lot, I mean 60 pounds of food every day. I know you know this one, so just hit it. This is a panda. Pandas spend 10 to 16 hours a day eating. I can relate. But they mostly eat bamboo. What about this bird? Do you know its name? It's a toucan. They're some of the noisiest birds in the world. 
They can make barking, croaking, and growling noises. Next up, this one. What is it? That's a squid, of course. Squids have three hearts. Also, they eat other squid that are smaller. Wow, I would say that's rather heartless for someone with three hearts. Can you recognize this animal? It's a bison. They have very poor eyesight, but great hearing and sense of smell. What do you think this cute animal is? It's a red panda. Their diet is 97% bamboo. The other 3% are eggs, flowers, and small mammals. What animal is this one? It's a badger. In a way, they're just like people. They're social and love spending time with their families. This one's easy, so just say it. It's a zebra. Their stripes are unique, just like our fingerprints. Also, they can sleep while standing up. What is this little bird? It's a kiwi. Even though they have these cute little wings, they can't fly. Also, they have whiskers. What do you think this animal is? It's a ferret. Some people keep them as pets. Do you know what this animal is called? That's an ocelot. They sleep during the day and get active at dusk, at night. That's why they get knighted. Of course, you've heard of Sir Ocelot. Hey, somebody stop me! Alright, it's cute, but what is it? That's a wombat. Don't let this fluffy body trick you. These guys can run at a speed of up to 25 miles per hour. Okay, what about this creature? This is a sloth. They're blind and terribly slow. But a sloth is still three times as strong as you are. Next up, what's your call? That's an emu. Do you know they have two sets of eyelids? They need one for blinking and the other to keep dust out of their eyes. What about this bird right here? That's a bald eagle. Bald eagles only live in North America. Also, females are larger than males. What about this bird? This is a peacock. Bright, beautifully colored peacocks are all males. They need such an appearance to attract mates. What do you think this is? This is a coyote. They're very vocal and can produce at least 11 different sounds. Another easy one for you. What is it? Yep, it's a penguin. You can find them in Australia, New Zealand, Chile, Argentina, and South Africa. What about this one? It's a hyena. These animals are very social and live in clans that contain up to 80 animals. They have a strong social hierarchy, with females being superior to males. Each clan is led by one alpha female. No wonder they're laughing. Do you know what this animal is? That's a margay. No one knows how many of these creatures live on Earth at the moment. How about this one? What is it? That's a capybara. They're the largest rodents in the world. 
What is this animal, in your opinion? It's a lynx. Their feet are designed in a way that allows them not to sink in the snow, which in turn helps them hunt better and ski better. What about this animal? Any ideas? It's a porcupine, and their little ones are called porcupets. What is this cute animal? It's a pika. They're related to rabbits. They do have tails, but you can't see them because they're hidden under all this fur. This is a hard one, but maybe you'll get it right. That's a wild boar. They live everywhere except Antarctica. What about this one? Ah, the game is getting harder. It's a tamarin, a species of monkeys. They live in groups, and if something happens, they come to rescue each other. I'll give you a breather. This animal is quite easy to guess. What is it? Of course, it's a platypus. Now, do you know that they are venomous? But no worries, there are no records of them charging at people. What about this animal? It's a meerkat. They're immune to many kinds of venom, so a platypus is no problem for them. What is this little creature? A least weasel. They only hunt animals that are larger than them. They've got chutzpah. What is this? It's an otter. 90% of all otters live in Alaska. They eat sea urchins. You otters see them up close. Do you have any ideas about this animal? It's a pangolin. Its name means roller because of the way they behave in dangerous situations. They cover their head and roll into a ball if someone touches them or if there's some danger. What is this little smiley cutie? That's a quokka. They're called the world's happiest animals because they smile all the time. They're also relatives of kangaroos. Any ideas here? That's an anteater. Ants aren't the only food on the diet of these creatures. Anteaters also eat fruits and bird eggs. Now, what do you think this animal is? A tarsier. They're some of the oldest primates on Earth. These creatures have been around for at least 55 million years. Now, they're going extinct. Do you know what this fish is? It's a blue glaucus. Why, you didn't know that? They're really small, only growing up to about an inch. Okay, how about this creature? Do you have any ideas? It's a vaquita, the rarest marine mammal. These porpoises were only discovered in 1958, and scientists say there are just 10 of them left. So, how many animals did you get right? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.